I've been in Phoenix now for about 15 years across a number of different roles within the engineering team. I largely work on live gas operations and providing emergency response. In terms of a typical day, there really isn't one. I could be in the office carrying out design work, I could be meeting with contractors, I could be out supervising live operations on the network, or I could be dealing with emergency calls as they come in. I love that no two days are the same, you know, every day is different. You're never quite sure what you'll be doing from one day to the next. There's always good opportunities in Phoenix to continue development as well, learning opportunities. Um, I don't think a week has gone by in my whole 15 years where I haven't learned something new. I started my engineering degree with kind of the intention of transferring over to do something else. And once I got stuck into it, I kind of really enjoyed it and thought, you know what, I'm going to stick at this. employed with Phoenix for the last 26 years and at the minute I'm working in the asset management department. A typical day for me would involve standing on a uh, third party dig um, on our critical infrastructure, inspections of 10 year and 20 year riser installations. I also mentor new engineers dealing with their day to day queries and ensuring that they can work towards their uh, role or their promotion as an engineering officer. I think. I've been fortunate enough that I haven't faced any uncertainty. I've always felt supported by the company, whether that be through uh, career progression opportunities, training to further my knowledge and my confidence in my role, and then further education opportunities. Whenever I extended my family, uh, I was able to apply for flexible working hours, um, which definitely suits my family needs. I'm a mum of four, so it's, I definitely feel like it was the right choice for me. I started working in the engineering department as an admin assistant. Slowly over time, the, the job became more technical. And within a year, I was carrying out design work for the engineers. And when a, a job became available for an engineering assistant, uh, I was encouraged by my colleagues at the time to apply and I suppose the rest is history. If I could give advice to any woman that's interested in getting into engineering, I would say go for it. If it's a career that you're interested in, don't, don't step back. Put yourself out there and make the leap. Currently we have two engineers that have just recently joined our team, one of which is in her 20s just at a university. And we have another female engineer who's just joined our team with no previous experience in engineering and she's in her 40s. So no matter what age, you can do it. Definitely don't be put off that it's perceived as a male dominated field because it definitely isn't. Having worked in the industry for so long, it's lovely to see more and more women getting involved in STEM subjects. And honestly, it's a, it's a great way forward.